here today to have a look at what's in my bag. Um, my driver that I play is a 10.5 degree lofted driver and I play the NS Pro Reggio Formula B uh, stiff 55 gram shaft. I've chosen this shaft because it's a, a little bit lighter gram weight but um, the ball flight is uh, mid to high with, with less spin. So I, I find that I can still carry the ball a long way, um, but it hits the ground hard and I get plenty of run. Um, that shaft is also in my three wood, five wood, and my um, 22 degree uh, hybrid. Um, when I move down into my irons, um, my uh, four iron through to pitching wedge uh, is the uh, NS Pro Modus, Tour 105 stiff shaft. Uh, I switched to the shaft uh, when I made a swing change a couple of years ago and it really suited the changes uh, that I made. Um, it's a mid to, to higher flighted um, uh, trajectory and um, I've, I've found that uh, uh, with the amount of spin that I create with the shaft, um, not only am I uh, hitting the ball slightly higher, uh, in windy conditions I'm able to flight the ball the way I want and with a little bit less spin, um, the wind doesn't seem to affect uh, my ball flight as much. Moving on to my wedges, I have a 52 degree wedge and a 58 degree wedge. And the shaft that's in those is the Ennis Pro Modus Wedge 105. I switched to this shaft because it lowered my ball flight slightly, but it created a lot more spin. So I was able to really control my ball flight and the spin around the greens with my shots inside 100 yards. I love the shaft, I love everything that's in my bag. That's what's in my bag, what's in your bag? The makeup of my wedges in my bag as far as loft is concerned, I have three wedges. I have a pitching wedge which is 46 degree loft, um, my gap wedge is a 52 degree uh, loft and my sand wedge uh, or I guess lob wedge is a 58 degree loft. Uh, for me personally I've always gone with three wedges um, and as you can tell uh, the, the loft changes are staggered in six, six degree increments. Uh, I have never actually played a 60 degree wedge like some people uh, have in their bag. I've just felt that the 58 degree is a little bit more versatile um, and, I, and I feel like I can create the added loft uh, myself around the greens with, with how, I, um, how I chip the ball and the creativity that I've developed over the years. Some, some tour pros have four wedges in their bag uh, and it would probably be a, like a 46 degree pitching wedge but then they'd go to a 50 degree uh, middle gap wedge I guess and then the next gap wedge would be a 56 degree and then a 60 degree lob wedge. Um, I think they do that, um, that gives them more options, um, they don't have as many in between numbers where they have to maybe have a little bit more feel and, and take um, distance off a, off a wedge. Uh, for me uh, I feel like I don't need that extra club um, in that part of my game and I'd prefer to have it um, deeper into you know, rescue and, and, and three woods. Um, that's just my personal choice, but I, I definitely recommend a gap wedge in between your pitching wedge and your sand wedge. It gives you a little bit more versatility um, from inside 100 yards. And one of the things that helps me re be really creative with my wedges and control uh, different flights on, on my pitches is the shaft that I have in my wedges, and that's the Ennis Pro Modus Wedge 105. Uh, I have switched to this a couple of years ago and it really gave me so much more feel. I was able to um, be even more creative than I was uh, using the shaft that I was using before. So I recommend um, enjoying practicing with your wedges around the short game area and switching to the shaft.